and I'm Liz Brown Swanson bringing you important emergency preparedness information being shared right here at the annual Prepared Peninsula Expo sponsored by our four Peninsula cities at Peninsula High School. This event brings the community together with our first responders, emergency experts and local leaders. Along with the expo today, there was also a town hall meeting held in the high school gymnasium. It was put on by assembly member Al Moritsuchi's office focusing on natural disasters and what to do when they strike. Hi everybody, my name is Jesse Villapondo. I'm your emergency services coordinator for the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and welcome to the, the ninth annual Prepared Peninsula Expo. Uh, here behind us today is the um, various um, Peninsula cities and and different organizations to help you um, be prepared at home. The, at the City of Rancho Palos Verdes booth today, we're um, providing information on the new Know Your Zone platform, which is pvpready.gov. It's really important you know that. It's pvpready.gov. Go, go online and learn your evacuation zone. We're also um, teaching residents how to turn off their utilities in case of an emergency. And brand new this year is we're really focusing on equine and pet preparedness for emergencies. One thing we're highlighting today is the Know Your Zone platform. So every resident needs to go on pvpready.gov and type in their address to look up their evacuation zone. An evacuation zone is a set, a geographical area within the hill that you um, that's going to be evacuated in case it's needed by the fire department. So the, the idea would be that you'll, you'll turn on the news and you'll see your zone, uh, RPV 00110, it needs to evacuate and so on. Hi, I'm Sergeant Tina McCoy. I'm currently the Community Relations Sergeant uh, assigned to Lomita Sheriff Station. I've been on the department for uh, 20 years now. Uh, the Community Relations teams, what we currently do is we participate in community events. We deal with ongoing issues. Uh, we attend neighborhood watch, uh, HOA meetings. They pretty much just ask uh, how safe uh, the city of RPV is. Uh, they've been asking us a lot of questions just about crime trends and things like that. Um, basically, we're here today just to uh, inform uh, residents regarding uh, just being prepared, you know, for a disaster, just having, you know, knowing their evacuation routes, having a plan with their families on, you know, where to meet and things like that, having uh, telephone contact telephone numbers for uh, someone maybe outside of the area, having uh, to-go items uh, in case they are asked to evacuate. And in case they're asked to shelter in place, just have uh, uh, food items uh, available for them and other uh, disaster-related uh, equipment. <laughs> for me, it's uh, I just make sure my family is uh, ready. We have a uh, contact uh, for someone that's outside of our area, so that way we can let each other know that we're safe. Uh, we do have a place that uh, to meet up in case there is, you know, a disaster that happens. Uh, I do have, you know, items stored, water, food, things like that, and flashlights and um, other just stuff that is uh, required for you uh, to obtain uh, if there's a disaster. Hi, Jessica Slauson here um, with the City of Rolling Hills Estates. Um, we're here at the Prepared Peninsula Expo. So this is about our ninth year uh, promoting emergency preparedness on the Palos Verdes Peninsula. And we're so excited. We always have great um, public partner agencies that are here to promote emergency preparedness. Um, and we're here at our city booth with lots of great information, our Ready, Set, Go guides, um, emergency, um, other types of guides, and um, we're just promoting emergency preparedness. So um, wanted to point out, you know, we're encouraging all residents to sign up for Alert South Bay. It is our um, mass emergency notification system. So if you text um, Alert SB to 888-777, um, you'll follow the prompts and you'll be registered for um, the Palos Verdes Peninsula uh, mass emergency notification system, which is super important to stay informed of what's going on in the area. Um, all four cities on the Palos Verdes yeah. Peninsula in partnership with LA County Fire, uh, LA County Sheriff's Department, and Palos Verdes Estates Police Department uh, push emergency notification uh, notices through the system. So we hope you sign up today. Within the city of Rolling Hills Estates um, and the pear tree kind of land movement incident uh, that unfortunately occurred over summer um, is a perfect example of you know something very extreme happening out of nowhere. Um, and so having those important documents, being prepared to kind of uh, move at a moment's notice is really critical. Um, and thankfully, you know, 
everyone is safe from that incident. However, you know, there's definitely a lot going on, but um, it's a perfect example of, you know, being prepared all the time. Hello, everyone. My name is Council Member Paul Sayo for Rancho Palos Verdes. Uh, I'm out here with my family for the, uh, the fair and the festival. We're taking a look at what we can do to make sure that our families here in RPV are prepared for any disaster, and I brought my folks out. You want to say hi, Teddy? Say hi. <laughs> Just to say hi and make sure everyone's prepared on the peninsula. Right now our city is dealing with the landslide of Portuguese Bay and the Klondike Canyon. I think it's very important that everyone understands that it's a peninsula-wide effort to make sure that our families are prepared for any disaster, be it earthquake, fire, or landslide. So being out here and making sure they have the right information to do the right things is so important. Good morning, my name is Pat Wilson. I'm mayor for the city of Rolling Hills and I'm here today at the Natural Disaster Expo. Very happy to see uh, the large turnout. We have a few potential nat natural disasters in our neighborhood that uh, we need to be aware of. And we're with the city, with Rolling Hills, we're bringing awareness, bringing attention, and hopefully some solutions to some problems that might come up in the future. Well, first of all, we have a very engaged block captain organization within our city, so we have a lot of local community level awareness, uh, but of course we suffer from the uh, the threat of fire, the threat of earthquakes, and certainly the threat of landslides. So we want to make sure all of our residents are uh, understand those uh, potential disasters and are prepared for them. Rolling Hills is a, a very equestrian oriented community. We have a lot of horses. I, as a matter of fact, have five. So I'm very uh, personally aware of the, uh, the need for the planning for the evacuation of large animals, particularly horses. We have uh, more horses than trailers in our community, so it's very important that uh, those that do have horses understand uh, the next steps as far as evacuating their animals. Hi, my name is Karina Bañales. What's fantastic about this event is that it brings a community together to really learn about emergency preparedness. Are we prepared to ensure that we have enough water at home? for an earthquake? Are we prepared to ensure that our, our houses are also cleared from brush for potential fire embers? But most importantly is to really getting to know all the different services that are provided to the cities on the peninsula. We're happy to be here at the Prepared Peninsula Expo. We have our neighborhood watch here. We have um, DDP and we also have NART um, for our amateur radio team. And we um, are excited to have our mobile command post, which is behind us, which is something that uh, we share with all the South Bay cities. So all the way from Inglewood to the Palos Verdes Peninsula, we can use this resource as, it's really what I've been telling the kids is a, a mini police station. So we can use it um, as a planning center. It can't even operate as an emergency operations center. And it's something that uh, is very important in times of disaster, major incidents, or mo most frequently for Palos Verdes Estates is uh, the, the LPGA tournament that we have annually. We have this out there every year as a mobile command post for our officers. That is the uh, gem of our department. It's a 1953 Ford Custom Line. Uh, it was originally a Texas Highway Patrol car. So we, ca we affectionately call it Car 54, and we, we love to ha show it off. I'm a director with the Long, Greater Long Beach chapter of the American Red Cross, and we're here today uh, participating in this great expo, uh, explaining to people some of the things we do, uh, particularly focused right now on blood donation. It's, blood crisis has been going on for many months now. We also have home preparedness in, in the event of fires. We have a system for uh, getting smoke alarms to people that installed for free for people that need them. Um, in the background, we are testing people. Our nursing group is testing people's blood pressure, and uh, we do a lot of preparedness training. It's such a great expo. People uh, are really asking first the one you started with: How do you get involved? Um, you know, what are the opportunities for their preparedness? Is a big one. The, the sound the alarm campaign is a big one um, and you know obviously right now there's several tragedies around the world how do I donate all of those the first link is the redcross.org website uh, but any of us in red can point you in a good direction um, I learned about the Red Cross just now it's really cool it's about like they help people when there's um, like real-life disasters like earthquakes or if their house burns down I uh, particularly like the uh, the preparedness, the PV preparedness and the zones that we can register to and get very 
specific information about your zone, not in general, because that's uh, really very important, right? Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Assemblymember Al Marasucci, proudly representing the Palos Verdes Peninsula, also a PV resident. I am here at the Peninsula Preparedness Expo, uh, where all four of our Palos Verdes cities are, have come together you know, to make sure that our residents are prepared. Uh, and I'm going to have a natural disaster town hall right after this. Uh, we're going to be going into the, uh, the PV Peninsula High School gym uh, to hear from uh, experts in emergency preparedness from the state, from the local uh, governments, as well as um, uh, from the California Department of Insurance. I know there's a lot of concerns about uh, insurance questions related to natural disasters. We've had, uh, you know, more than our share of natural disasters up, up here on the hill, and so we want to make sure that we're all prepared. For all of you that are not able to attend our town hall on natural disaster preparedness, uh, you can check out our Facebook website at Assemblymember Al Marasucci or go to my website and check out the live stream or the video recording for the town hall. Hi, I'm Valerie Gorsuch. I am the president of Palos Verdes Estates Neighborhood Watch, and we are here at the Prepared Peninsula Expo, where we are every year just to make sure that you are aware of how to live in a safe environment. It's an amazing event. We've got exhibits from every single thing that you could possibly imagine. We do have our Palos Verdes Estates Command Center here that you can go through. Um, there are people here from all kinds of cities and the library and Red Cross. We have CERT tables here. And I'm so glad that Neighborhood Watch can be part of this because we need to be a safe place to live. You should never worry about what might happen, but you should always be prepared for what might happen. So get your little emergency kit, stick it under your bed in case there's an earthquake, you've got a pair of shoes handy. We don't need to go to sleep worrying about it, but when it happens, you need to be ready. Uh, we're with the Disaster Communication Service for the Los Angeles County. We prov provide backup communications for uh, disaster support. Uh, in the event of an earthquake, when all other ways of communicating are, are down, we provide a vital link from the cities to the county EOC for mutual aid and disaster support. And this is Bob Bramer. He's from Lakewood. I'm from Lomita Station. Bob? Yeah, our, our, our role here today is to tell people a little bit more about what we do and uh, to let people know that radios, whether it's a GMRS radio for an earthquake kit or actual amateur radio operators or amateur radio operators-to-be who want to volunteer, uh, to let them know that we're out here and available. There's radio groups at the various cities. There's DCS, which is countywide at the sheriff stations. Um, the CERT groups have started to use some radio stuff. We just want to let people know there's some alternatives for them. With regard to radio email, if we have no infrastructure, now we're always talking about the big earthquake and uh, cross your fingers that it'll never happen. But if we're cut off from the rest of the world, if Southern California can't communicate with the rest of the world, HF radio is the way to do it. And we can send out digital uh, messages and we can send out emails and get out of the area to a place where there is infrastructure and then be able to uh, communicate that way. Get, get, uh, get to Sacramento for the, uh, the state EOC or to the FEMA people. Hi, my name is Brenna Terones. I'm the Assistant Superintendent Administrative Services for PVP USD. Today we're sharing with the community uh, our emergency preparedness and disaster preparedness um, drills and protocols. So here you'll see a nice uh, poster with everything that we've been working on this year. We're just wrapping up our fall drills. We will be having some more spring drills. I have been active with a lot of our PTAs, which do a lovely job helping us and supporting us. You can see some nice pictures here. They help us uh, put together a lot of our disaster sheds to be prepared with all the necessary supplies and help support us during our drills in case we do have any type of an emergency. Um, we've also been adding a piece with regards to safety and security. We have been working on perimeter fencing. We have been working on cameras and um, surveillance so we do have the ability probably within about 40 seconds to be able to see and have eyes within our school district in our hallways and our perimeters what's happening in our school site so stop the bleed kit is something we introduced to all of our kits in 2019 
We have um, some uh, different gauze, which actually helps coagulate the blood. So, I mean, getting a little technical here, but this basically supports us uh, being able to respond to anybody with a gunshot or a severe type of wound with uh, bleeding. We also have another tourniquet in here in this case to where if there is any heavy bleeding, we can administer the tourniquet to try to stop the bleed. It's in every classroom and in every kit. So we have kits all over the school district in addition to what we have in our uh, emergency disaster preparedness sheds. Hi, I'm Steve and I am the president of our community emergency response team program here covering both Rolling Hills, Rolling Hills Estates, our unincorporated Rancho Palos Verdes and Palos Verdes Estates here on the hill. And my responsibility is to help educate our community in disaster preparedness and bringing volunteers together so that we can all work together as a team in, in the event of a major disaster in our area. What we're sharing today is the tools you can use to help shut off your, your gas meters, your water meters, how to deal with your electrical panels in the event of an emergency that you feel it's necessary to shut down your home for the, the protection of your home. And we also share information on how to take care of your family. Um, the CERT program educates you through our training via the LA County Fire Department um, to give you all the, the, the tools necessary that you can help yourself in a disaster, your family, your neighbors, and your community in the event of this disaster. I've gotten heavily involved since the Northridge earthquake back in 1994. Um, at that time, I worked basically at the epicenter right across the street from the Northridge Mall that the parking structure is pancaked at that time. At that and helping the response that was not an organized response, but the response that I went through after that, immediately after that earthquake that following morning, that got me involved and interested in trying to help the community as best I can. So we've got many reasons that, that we've got to be concerned. We've got our, our wildfire concerns, we've got our landslide issues, we've got our larger concern of the San Andreas Fault, which Caltech still anticipates will be about a 7.8 earthquake lasting as long as two minutes or longer, which will be a devastating period of time to get through. There's many reasons we should all be concerned that we have our water storage, our food storage, individually at our own residence as a protection to keep, keep our family healthy and through a, a disaster of that type. So the best way to contact us is through certnews at pvpcert.org. Good afternoon, my name is Rosemary Vivero. I'm the Community Service Liaison with the Los Angeles County Fire Department. We are here today at the Peninsula Preparedness Expo. It was a great day. If you didn't come out here, you missed out on so much information from how to pack a go bag, what to pack ahead of time, how to use your smartphone or even a camera to take uh, the supplies necessary, like uh, your, your license, your, or your, your birth certificate, your wedding certificate, all those things. And you can get those supplies if you go to lacounty.org website. We have that information for you. Our job as a fire department is to have you to be prepared. Uh, we have our CERT class, which is a community emergency response team. We'll be graduating our class at Hess Park this coming Saturday. We have another Saturday in Gard uh, another CERT class in Gardena, if you're welcome again to attend. You don't have to live in the city of Gardena to take it. Our job is just to make sure that you're prepared and you understand what the different disasters in your community are. We talk about ready, set, go. Again, that's what we're talking about. Be prepared, not scared. So we talk about putting together, there should be three bags that you have prepared. One for your home, one for your car, and one for either your school or your office because you never know when there's going to be an emergency. So you have some of the basic things, an extra pair of shoes, an extra pair of clothing. So that's what we're talking about, being ready. Get set. Be ready. If you have to be evacuated, be set for that. Know where, the, where your escape routes are. So when that happens and you have to evacuate, then you're ready to go. The whole point is that you don't, it's not a last minute thing, but you prepare for these things because we don't have control over any kind of disasters. So let's just be prepared and things will be so much easier for us to understand so we know where we have to go and where our family can be safe. So my experience in, in dealing with the peninsula was just recently with the Rolling Hills Estates landslide. And what, when talking to the residents, one of the biggest things was, I just wish we had more time to prepare. So that's where my passion comes. When I, I've been working for the fire department for 20 plus years. Here in the peninsula, only two years. But I have learned so much in these two years in what can make people feel safer. And that's why I'm so passionate about being prepared. Hi, I'm, my name is Diane Robinson, and I'm proud to announce that I am a member of our city, which is Rancho Palos Verdes, and its wonderful emergency preparedness committee. One of the most important things that we also teach people is about the gas. The first question that you have to ask yourself, do you know where your gas meter is? Once you know where 
the gas meter is, then you need to learn how to shut it off when it's necessary, when you need to evacuate your home and when it's necessary, then you have a tool like this that you can get at any hardware store or at the Red Cross and you just turn it like this to shut it off. Just remember that when it's horizontal that it is shut off. Never, never turn it back on. Let the, the gas company turn it back on for you. Basically, I've been a police officer for over 35 years, so I am into the emergency and taking care of people, what to do. And it's not just about arresting the bad people, but it's making sure that you are safe. Not just burglaries and robberies in your home, but now emergency is situation. So this is my passion, is making sure that our city is safe, the individual is safe, my neighborhood is safe. I know that because I'm part of the neighborhood watch. I also take in some CERT classes, so make sure that you join and do the CERT classes. But most important to me are two passions, children and the horses. As I indicated before, we just started the equine emergency program, and I hope one day, I also do puppet shows, I hope one day to put on a puppet show for the children and learning how to duck and cover and hold on. So that is my passion. I hope it is yours too. Please join us, City of Rancho Palos Verdes. Thank you. Here in the Palos Verdes Peninsula cities, we all work together to um, not only throw on this great event, but to also um, plan for emergencies. For example, the you Know Your Cell PVP Ready .gov, uh, website was a combination of the all the Peninsula cities working with the LA County Sheriff, Fire, and our um, County Office of Emergency Management as well. Oh, it's always prepared to be uh, prepared for the worst, honestly. You, you, we have to be prepared for wildfires, landslides, um, you name it. It's just it's just really important to be prepared out here. Me, I'm personally a resident here in Rancho Palos Verdes, so I, I, I take preparing this very seriously. I have three kits, one for um, one for my office, one for my car, and one at home. It's, and I advise every resident to do the same as well. So when it comes to uh, building an emergency kit, uh, it's very important to have food, water, um, any important medications you might need, uh, even toys for young ones, because in case they get bored, and just have any personal hygiene items you might take um, need and just make yourself a bit uh, more comfortable in an emergency. Uh, Rancho Palos Verdes actually sells an emergency backup kit. It's at the PVIC gift shop. I believe it's about a $49 value and has all everything you need in it to be prepared. I'm Marilyn Long and I live in Rancho Palos Verdes and I'm so really glad to be here to see all these different agencies who are here to showcase uh, to all of us in the peninsula to really understand what to do in case of an emergency. And I think it's very invaluable to us and I've been to all the different stations, I've learned about uh, the health department, what to do if someone is has started to faint, and I've been to um, the L.A. port where there's police. They patrol San Pedro and Wilmington. I've been to people who have brought uh, their wares for us to buy in case of emergency. I think it's really invaluable, and I just wanted to thank uh, the Peninsula Cities for putting this on. I have a kit in my car. I have food. I have water. I have flashlights. I have a uh, gas emergency shutoff valve uh, tool that I have. Um, I have food, canned food. So I think I'm prepared. And I'm really, um, our neighborhood, I'm trying to get our neighbors to really come together and be prepared in case we do have an emergency. I think it's so important. There are so many great resources available to our community and we certainly hope that this program has provided you with the information you need to become more prepared. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. Thanks for watching. See you next time around the peninsula.